Hi friends, today I thought I would just give something a whirl. I haven't tried this before, but I thought it would be an interesting idea. I was thinking of making soy curl nacho fries. My name is Gia, I'm the founder of Do It Well. We make crave-worthy protein treats like cinnamon rolls and bread, and today we're going to play with soy curls. If you guys aren't familiar with what soy curls are, this is what they look like. Uh, they're basically, they're soybeans that are cooked and reshaped, either mashed and then reshaped and then dried up into these kind of really dehydrated little pieces. So what I've done is I've actually taken some of the bigger pieces, that things that kind of look, <laughs> so things that kind of like look like this. I'll put the link of the soy curls that I buy on Amazon down below in case you guys want to try it. The recipe that I put together is pretty straightforward. It's simply just soy curls. A tablespoon of tapatio with a tablespoon and a half of water. I've just got some chives, some cilantro, onion, and um, vivan mozzarella cheese. This is the only cheese we had at home, so I just sliced up half of a slice. And some salsa and some salt. But honestly, you guys can top it with whatever you want. I've got my toaster oven preheating to 375 degrees, and this is what we're going to do. I have two servings of the soy curls and I'm simply dumping the tapatio and water onto it. I'm not going to put too much. Normally when you make soy curls, you dump in a lot of water and you hydrate it super well. But the reason I don't want to hydrate it too, too much is because I want it to be crunchy. Like french fries are crunchy, right? And I don't want to fry. I, I don't think I ever fry anything. I'm going to let this baby sit for just about five minutes to let those flavors incorporate in. But I am also going to sprinkle it with just a little bit of sea salt. I've let it sit for about five minutes and then I went ahead and transferred it to my baking tray. I lined it with parchment paper because I don't really like to use very much oil or no oil at all. Um, you guys can use oil if you want to make sure it doesn't stick, but make sure to space it out and put it in one layer so it dehydrates as best as possible. Now I'm just going to stick into the toaster oven. Set the timer to five minutes. I think what I'm going to do is actually put in the onions and the cheese now and the, the green onions. I added a couple of extra minutes. <laughs> Some of the bits uh, came out a little bit darker. Um, I don't mind it, but if you uh, mind it, keep an eye out on it. But you can see that the cheese has melted, the onions are a little bit cooked, and so are the chives, and these guys are gonna be pretty crunchy. Voila! <laughs> you guys can obviously put way more cheese on it. You can put pinto beans, guacamole, avocado on it. Uh, I just wanted to keep things super simple, so I did put the rest of the cilantro on there after things baked. I put some salsa. This is the one that we're loving right now. We also love the fire roasted um, salsa from Whole Foods. And I sprinkled it with a little bit of salt. Time for the taste test. I know it doesn't look like a french fry, but the idea is there's something that's shaped kind of like a stick. It's crunchy. You get to put salsa and cheese and whatever else you want on it. <laughs> So that's actually really good. The only thing that you guys have to remember about soy curls is they are dehydrated. So once you put moisture on it, it starts to suck up the moisture and you'll have bits that are chewy versus bits that are crunchy. But you can listen for the crunch that's in parts of it. And if you want, put this, keep the salsa on the side so it stays crunchy. Super easy guys. I'd say this probably takes no more than 10 minutes. Enjoy! Mm. Okay, that's too easy. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying my recipe videos, hit that like button and the subscribe. And if you think any of your friends will like this recipe, share it out with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate you. I'll put a link of the recipe in the description box down below, and again, a link to the soy curls that I buy. Okay guys, have a great day. It's time for me to eat. <laughs> Bye!